Here are three things my ex-husband told me to basically get me to do anything he wanted. He told me that one, I had no interest, two, all of my friends sucked, and three, I need to stop complaining about how he spends money. So what happens when you hear things like this? One, I have no interest. Basically, all of my interest went toward everything he liked. Live music, sports, all of that stuff. I became his fantasy football team manager. Like, I embedded myself into that so that I could belong and have that feeling that I belonged with him. And he was basically happy that I loved what he loved. Friends, I would feel like I was walking on eggshells if I wanted to do something with my friends or spend, have him come to something where my friends invited us. It was really awful and pretty much none of my friends after we divorced were like sad about it. <laughs> the last one was complaining about money, which basically meant that he could spend however he wanted. It got us into a lot of financial debt. All of our money that we got from like, you know, almost like 600 people at our wedding was like gone really quickly because of the way that he spent money. I can't tell you how happy I am that I eventually realized that this isn't working for me because of the level of control um, that he held in the relationship. And also, honestly, I believed everything he said. And that was the start of my healing journey, realizing that I don't need to believe this stuff. I have friends. I have interests. Um, being concerned about like how we spend money is a very normal thing to do <laughs> in any relationship. So after I realized these things and how you know, he was basically using all of this against me, I realized that I needed out of the relationship. So now I am, and I am just so happy to be doing what I love, to be cultivating my own interests, to be free to see and spend time with my friends however I like, and to think about money in a way that's liberating for myself, um, not so much in a scarcity mindset, but really explore and imagine what that can mean for me. If you experience any of these things in your relationship, I feel you, I've been there, and just know that you are someone who is free to cultivate your own interests, free to do something without someone holding you back, and I love you.